Da wow everyone. Today, I know I was gonna talk about recommendations, but please forgive me. But the Euros just happened. Well, the Euro finals, the Copa finals also happened. But we're gonna talk about the Euros and more about sports. But before we begin, let's play a game that will determine your life. Alexa, heads or tails? And there you go, folks. If you lost and voted for tails, well, you got to sell your soul and subscribe to me. Let's get into the video. You've probably seen on the news, your Instagram feed, Snapchat, everywhere you go, Twitter, Facebook even, that it came to Italy, I guess. It is a shame, but fair play, fair game to Italy for winning the penalty shootouts. And uh, oh boy. Before we begin, uh, let us do address that there are statistics that domestic violence would increase if England has lost and England has lost. So uh, here's the number for just in case you need help. Now I am filming and editing this before there are any footage of what happens to London. You know, how, how everyone talks about how it's gonna be a riot. <sighs> oh boy. And let us address football fans in general or the English fans and how they boo at people. Especially during the uh, the anthems, that's a bit... You're, you're, you're pushing the limit there, but buddies. Now every time there's usually those international sports matches, usually football, like the World Cups or the Euros, you know, everyone gets their like, woo, yeah, let's support our favorite team. And then if their team loses, well, usually if England wins and the other countries, part of the UK loses, well, everyone wants England to lose. That, that's just how it is. Like, that's fine. I get that. But I've been getting to football, or at least just for the Euros. Now, watching those Euros was very stressful because it was a 90-minute game, uh, but it was a 30-minute game, uh, and it was penalties. Oof. Your heart's racing, heart's pounding, penalties are coming up, everyone's waiting, who's going to win the match? And here are some footage that I got of my dad reacting to it. Now, obviously, I didn't get any footage of the whole match because, let's be honest, England didn't really shoot that much. They barely had any attempts, touches, possessions. Like, what on earth was thought? We were mainly in our half during the entire match. Like, what was that about? Honestly. <sighs> oh. oh! 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 oh. So, how does manga play into this? You can get a real connection to these characters, and most, well usually anime and manga, can over-exaggerate the feel and excitement of the sport itself. Let us bring on to cycling anime. Now one predominantly that I've watched, there's probably others, but I've watched uh, is Yormashi Pedal. Boop. And it's about this little boy, Onodera, he's, he's, he's actually like a geek, well he's actually a weeaboo or an otaku, who just so happens to just cycle to school every day, and then he this and then this boy who's like this, wants to be a pro cyclist, you know, they, they go to the same school and he's like, yo, you can cycle, I'm gonna beat you up this hill, and he's like, uh, no, why, huh, oh, <laughs> I think, I haven't seen the series in a long time, but it's a good series. You know, there's a song, Hime Hime, and it's great. It's a great workout music, and that's besides the point. All I'm saying is, watching cycling, like, Tour de France, eh, but you watch your Mushi pedal, it's like, oh, come on, on the dead, fight, oh! And, uh, yeah, moving on. Football and, uh, manga. There's a lot, varied, uh, in, in the types of ways they showed it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, uh, Days, which follows, a uh, usually f high school football team, obviously. That's how it is in most sports anime. And then there's like a bunch more listed down there. But let's talk about Blue Lock. Now this is the big one I want to talk about. Because it's intense. Like, the art. Oh. And the characters. Ah. Sure, there are a bit of sus moments here and there. And it is getting an anime ad adaptation, as I've heard, for next year. So that'd be exciting. Hopefully it gets that fate treatment. Oof. Does it get you interested in, in football? 
This brings on to the fact that manga and maybe anime could help people go into sports by making it look cool and fun. Remember that, folks. Fun. <laughs> Who remembers that being a thing? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, you got these old young boys just trying to fight their dream, either going to Koshien, which is like this high school baseball league, and yeah, just fighting into like the national sports. It's like, ooh, you got a dive which is a diving anime, Blue Box, that's upcoming in Shonen, which is about badminton, but it's more slice of life than sports, so I can't really... Obviously, you got volleyball with Haikyuu, amazing. You got a sports called Kabaddi, well, the anime is called Burning Kabaddi, and it's basically like uh, if you've ever played Bulldog or, or Tag, except it's like it's in an enclosed 9-meter space, uh, it's a box. Boxing, Hajime no Ippo, Ashita no Jo, basketball, well, basketball's pretty intense, but... Yeah, basketball, you got Kuroko no Basuke, you got real table tennis, you have that one table tennis anime, and then there's table tennis, the animation, or what's it called? It's called ping pong, the animation, and then you got made up sports like Keijo, button boobs. And on that note, ending off on boobs and butts, we shall leave and say goodbye. Well done to Italy again, and uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe and, and like, and have a good one.